Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Well, it's only the next day after I took you guys for a ride in the torrential rains. I wasn't supposed to do this today, but I had to get in the shade. I was working up a sweat, so you just never know what the weather's going to be. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be like this, but I'm not running the generator, and I got a little work done. A little bit. I did run the generator... Uh, from the time I got home yesterday, I burned off pretty much a gallon of gas. And then before it got dark, I filled that generator back up and let it run till it ran out and put a good charge on the systems that needed to be charged up. Got up to 100% on that 300 amp hour Redodo and the sun took it back up to 100% today. And that's running a five cubic foot freezer, which is not a huge draw. And then on those chins, uh, you know, I got up, you know, to a decent charge. And today I've seen as high as 13.8 uh, with the sun coming in with a, those thousand watts in the way background there. So looking pretty good. But I wanted to go ahead and get this 48 volt battery charging a little bit just in case I'm going to need it. And uh, it's not really what I want it for. It's going into a different application, but I'll show you what I did. So while I was running around yesterday, I picked up this new battery. Uh, and it's from Lee Time, of course, and it's a 48 volt, 100 amp hour. And I'm gonna put this in uh, that 20 foot container that I've got, but uh, it's gonna need some work before I do that. And I thought in the meantime, I'd just leave it up here behind my chair on the lanai. And since the sun did come out today, I started charging it up and I've just got it just basically hooked up but it's charging. So I carried these two panels down here. Uh, that, this one here is starting to catch a little shade right now. They've only been hooked up for oh, a couple of hours at most, but uh, they were getting good sun, still getting some sun, but I've just got them leaned up against the container right now. They're not going anywhere. <sighs> I need to find the sweet spot which will be a little bit more over in here for them eventually but they're hooked up right now i'll show you what they look like so right now you can see they're only pumping out near 300 watts i did see it as high as a little over 700 when i first hooked them up but they're not at the best angle but uh, it'll work for getting this battery charged up and then i'll have that to use and you can see the voltage looks good. I just got those two panels uh, tied in series, which is why it's dropping with just the teeniest bit of shade. Um, but looking good, so 270-ish watts. And I'll show you what the app looks like. Of course, it doesn't track as fast as this MPPT charge controller from Victron, but uh, it's an adequate app, I'll say. So here's what the lead time app looks like. It showed up with a 25% state of charge. So, uh, you know, I haven't put a ton on it today, but, and then you can see it shows 270 ish Watts coming in 36 amp hours. Uh, and you know, it's just a real basic app. It doesn't show the individual cell voltage. I mean, you can see right down below here, it shows balance and cells and BMS. And I'll show you what that looks like. So let's press the balance first just to see what information. And all it does is say this. Under good conditions, your battery is well balanced. And it's the same for all the others. So nothing of any individual cells. Here's the cell icon will tap that same thing your battery your battery are functioning optimally yeah i would have liked it if you know on the cell status it could have been like that uh vatter battery that shows every single cell i hope all batteries start to be like that in the future but uh, this is very very basic and and then the bms says the same thing just shows mr uh, A-OK, -okay, normal BMS status. Okay, so it's not giving a lot of information. And when I was comparing the watts coming in compared to the 
MPPT, the Victron. Uh, this doesn't keep up near as fast. Uh, under steady sun, they were pretty close in watts. I trust the Victron more than this. This thing doesn't move at the speed of the Victron. And there's my MPPT 120, which is good for 48 volt batteries as well. I've just got it slapped in there for today. I'm going to, uh, as soon as it stops charging completely, I'm going to disconnect this. Of course, that's not how I'm going to leave it. But I am thinking I'm going to leave this battery out here and uh, build a little protection around it for everything and mount everything properly. But this was just to get everything up and running today. And, you know, I've managed to put 10% more capacity in there because I think I might have to use this if the dark days continue. But yeah, so I just showed you, you know, it says smart Bluetooth and I just showed you how smart it is. And I've just got this cutoff switch here tied into there. So uh, here in a little bit, when those stop generating any power, those solar panels, I'm going to flip this off, disconnect everything. And then I'm going to uh, start mounting everything. You know, I've got proper fusing and all of that too. And I think I'm going to mount everything right there. And I've got that... Uh, new 2000 or 2500 watt pure sine wave inverter a reliable electric that i use several of those and they work well and i'm going to use that so i'll have a backup 48 volt system which should run everything in the kitchen or anything else for that matter but the highest wattage stuff is coming out of the kitchen the vatter is looking pretty good today haven't seen what the charge is up to but i'll take a peek later so yeah, the voltage are, and the watts are dropping just because of that shadow, which is from my roof. And like I said, I just wanted to start charging that battery up. If we get a sunny day tomorrow, that thing may get near full because I didn't bring these out till late in the day anyway. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to get that battery going. But here's the thousand watts for the chins. They are still completely in full sunshine. So yeah, that system... You know, it pumps up fast with a thousand watts going through it. So uh, I'm not going to need the generator tonight, but I'm ready if I do in the next few days. And then on my back array, they're still in full sun and will be for oh, a little while longer. They are starting to catch just the slightest shadow over there, so it'll get more. But uh, those uh, 400 watts up on the top uh, crank that 300 amp hour Redoto back up to... 100% today. It wasn't down very much overnight after it went to 100% on the generator. And then these 700 watts are feeding that vatter. And I'm going to take a quick peek. Uh, it should be in pretty good shape too. So yeah, you just never know uh, what the weather's going to be. I thought it was going to be exactly the same as yesterday according to the forecast, but was grateful to get some sunshine. All right, that are up to 75% and still charging. So good, I'm in good shape. Yeah, the difference a day makes, you just never know. I knew if I saw the sun, I'd get back into shape pretty quick. But I am glad I went out and got some, some fresh gasoline, uh, ran the generator for a while. I haven't run it that many hours in years. So uh, good exercise for the old Honda. Yeah, so look. <laughs> Getting to be late in the afternoon and still beautiful. Yeah, what a difference. So some of you might ask, you know, why did I go with Lee time? Um, I thought I was going to pick up a Chins originally. I heard this guy had some Chins batteries from a friend of mine. And I called him up and he said he was all sold out of his Chins. Uh, which he did have some 48 volt Chins. And that's what I was planning on getting. And then... Uh, he said no more of those, but he had some 48 volt lead time. And for me, you know, they're both good. I like them both. Of course, I love my chins going on five years now. And I've run lead times and even back when they were ampere time, never had a problem with any of their batteries. So I felt just as confident going with lead time. I would have been happy to take a chins off his hands, but that's why I ended up with lead time. It was just kind of the availability of the moment. And I knew I wanted another one for an upcoming project. Uh, that's going to take a little minute to get to. And I'll show you how that progresses. But in the meantime, 
I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up where it is uh, with that in, uh, inverter. And then I'll have another 48 volt, which can run anything that I'm running in the house. So it, it will be uh, yet another backup to some of the backups. Because yeah, as little as I ran that generator, that was about enough for me, but uh, it had been so dark for so many days uh, I just had to keep everything going, but it's all good now. And I'll show you guys in the next couple days what this looks like all hooked up. It's going to be pretty nice, and it'll be functional out here. And yeah, the only thing, I'm going to build a little protection around it, so in case that rain comes in sideways, nothing will get wet. And I've got the space out here. So I think that's going to work out fine. I really just wanted to go ahead and give it its first full charge since it showed up with a 25% charge yeah let's charge it up and put it into action still catching a little bit of sun on there just that one shadow in the corner which you know when you're in series it, it, that affects the output quite a bit but they're not even facing the sun right now they're just catching it on a sideways angle but it's charging up to 37% yeah, see, it's just not at the right angle. If, if I could move those out a little bit and turn them towards the sun, they'd probably be getting near 800 watts, those panels now. But, uh, you know, I'm taking what I can get today, that's all. But I moved it from 25% to 37% in just a couple of hours. So that was the goal of the day. All right, guys, I uh, just thought I'd check in with you since you took that wet and wild ride with me yesterday and that was a lot of fun i'm glad a lot of you guys tagged along for for that it was fun for me to do it with you um yeah in the next couple of days i'll show you what this little system right over here looks like um i'm pretty happy about it and in the meantime in the next couple of days i'm gonna uh be down and show you guys a system where my friend has some questions on it and i know some of you guys are going to be able to answer those questions so we're going to go down there and shoot a little video on that and uh, see if we can't get him up and running and I think combining two different systems. Uh, so anyway, I'll show you what that looks like too. Aloha everybody. Have a great day. Be well. I'll catch you next time. Yeah, I'm going to just keep resting in the shade. <laughs>